All right, welcome back to Marshall Remodel. This is the Mad County Build Series. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Paul Marshall, and today we'll be talking about our bathroom vanities and some installation tips and tricks. For those of you who are new, we have a cabinet partnership with a company called CabinetDirect.com. You can receive a 5% discount on your cabinets by using Marshall Remodel. You can see all the details of that in, our, in the description of this video or on our website at marshallremodel.com. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, we have this half of the girls' bathroom vanity, sink, light installed. And now we need to do the same thing over there. I did a little quarter inch filler on this side here to keep these drawers just a little bit away from the wall. And then we have like an inch and a half filler on this side. So I'll show you how I do that. I already have the quarter inch filler cut for this side. I want it to match this side over here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a quarter inch filler over here and then we will start installation. So I'll show you guys how I install these fillers and these cabinets in this bathroom. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up at the top, shoot a nail in it, and then I'm gonna work my way down lining it up flush with the edge. And all these nail holes will be covered because they're gonna be up against the wall. All right, now we're gonna slide this back here into position. Slide this one over where it's touching. Now I can measure uh, for my drain and my water lines. On this side, they come up through the floor. It's just the way the floor joists fell. That's what I had to do. So. We'll measure those, get holes cut, and then Emily and I will set this down over the top. 5 eighths would be 7 and 3 quarters minus 5 eighths. That's a 6 eighths, so 17 and 8. So 7 quarter. 17 and 8.
All right, so we got these in here. I'm gonna screw these two together. Right now we can just screw this in through the back and this will be complete for now. All right, we got our base leveled and screwed to the wall. Now we're just going to set this cabinet up there and then we'll get that leveled, plumbed, and screwed to the wall.
that screwed through the back and then through the side. All right guys, I just told you that I have screws through the side, screwing this cabinet to the wall. And anytime I have a pocket door and I have something that I can screw into the side of the pocket door to sturdy it up, I do it. This cabinet makes this door really rigid by screwing through into these slats. You just have to make sure you use a screw that doesn't over penetrate and pop through. Otherwise it will scratch your door as it slides in and out. All right, so now that we have this installation done, I wanna talk about this bathroom. I'm gonna talk about each of our bathrooms, give you an idea why I did what I did. This bathroom is for our girls to share. So we have a pocket door going into it. We have matching six foot vanities on each side. The only difference is the way I had to run the plumbing. The plumbing here on this one comes through the back of the wall. So you can see I just cut out a circle in the back and then a circle for each water line. Um, the reason this only gets a quarter inch filler is because of this pipe right here. If I moved it over any further, um, that pipe would have hit where the cabinets match or come together. So that's what I had to do. And then there's a bigger filler on this side. So just to make them match, I matched up this quarter inch filler on this side and then a larger filler on that side there. That way, when you come in, they look identical. I doubt anybody would notice that. It's just something I like to do. So each, van each of our girls will have their own vanity. We'll eventually put mirrors you know that come up in between the lights countertops are coming we'll have a backsplash the girls each have their own um, vanity light we have a motion sensor for the main lights that just comes on when you walk in and since they're going to be sharing this bathroom we have a pocket door going into where the shower toilet and then this linen closet is. So this will house all of their girl stuff, towels, whatever they need here in this bathroom. And this cabinet will get base trim around the bottom and then it'll also get crown molding. And I'll bring you all the trim details to all the cabinets in this house when we get to that point. So this is our boys bathroom. And originally we designed this for the sink to be over here and these cabinets to be over here. And this was a miscommunication between um, Emily and I. Um, we had to switch them because of the pipes. If this cabinet would have been over here, this drain pipe would have landed right on here. So we just to chose to swap them, which in all honesty works out fine. The only difference is is this cabinet did not have the finished sides. So we'll just have to order a deco door for the end of this, which is not a big deal. It was kind of our only solution um, to our miscommunication. But other than that, it uh, turned out real nice. So this is the bathroom right off the garage. And this is the sink we're using right now in the house until we get all our countertops. So I just put a plywood countertop in just to make it a little more um, user friendly. Um, we got our mirror up, but it's also got the same vanity light that all the other bathrooms have. This was a one piece vanity, um, so it was a real easy installation. It's got the um, apron front sink, which all our bathrooms have, and you can see the installation video on that. I did one on how to cut the front of these out and get them all trimmed out nice. All right guys, so this is my last set of cabinets to install. And I hook all three cabinets together and then I level it because by hooking them all together, I square them up each individually to each other and then I run screws through them. So I have screws through here, a row in the middle and a row in the back and then I do it on that side. And what that does is it makes one cabinet then 
The important thing is I gotta put filler in on each side. And when I first measured my filler, it was a different height or a different width at the top than it was the bottom on both sides, but it was opposite, so I knew it wasn't level. So we leveled this up by putting shims. So I raised the side, this side up, which levels the whole thing. Now my fillers, this one is 9 16 on the top and bottom, and that one is 3 quarters on the top and bottom. So now I know I'm good and square. So that's the advantage to hooking these all together at once. That way you can level them, plumb them all together, and it just makes life a lot easier. So we're just gonna go ahead, we got it leveled left to right. Now we're gonna plumb it up on the wall and uh, get it screwed into the wall. And this one will be, will be done too. And then that will be a wrap on all the, you know, just the rough in installation of the cabinets. We've got all the trim, all the crown molding, stuff like that to do, which I'll do in a separate video. All right guys, so here is the master. We have all of the vanity cabinets installed for the most part. This is my vanity right here, <clears throat> which I got a side with all four drawers, and then my sink on the other side. Vanity light up top, I'll have a mirror there, and then this is going to be Emily's side. And the only difference here is once we get our countertops on, there will be a tower cabinet that sits on top with an outlet inside of it. It's actually right here. So this will get put on top right there. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Hopefully uh, something in here was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, we appreciate you watching, and we will catch you on the next video.